Welcome to another tutorial, tutorial 5, let's build a sim. But me, your hostess, who's using a male avatar, Slim Jammies. Today, uh, we're going to do uh, how to save your avatar to an IAR file, because that was requested, uh, somebody wanted to know, and well, I thought I'd do a tutorial, because it's actually pretty important to back up as much of your uh, stuff as you can. So without further delay, uh, let's get forward to saving your avatar as an IAR file. Stay tuned! Okay, here we are at Open Simulator. Server commands. Since I have no brain and can't remember all the commands, I always have to look them up. So here we go. I'm looking for IAR, which are around here somewhere. We go inventory archives. This is the. These are the commands I want. Save IAR. First to last name. Inventory path. Your password. First and last name of your avatar that you're logged in with. Inventory path, uh, that would be the folder of uh, where it is inside OpenSim in your inventory. Uh, the password to uh, when you log in and the archive path which is uh, on your hard drive. So if you're using C drive it'll be C whatever. I, I, I put my stuff straight on uh, straight on the uh, main drive because I'm lazy. So this would be the command that I'm using here. Save IAR, my my uh, avatar's name, the folder name, the password of my uh, avatar, C drive, whatever the name of my item is, dot IAR. So since I have no memory, I'm gonna cut and paste that into my uh, folder like that. Okay so now we have our command. Now we need to basically go and uh, log in to OpenSim into our sim and uh, find what we want to save and um, make it into an archive. That's not hard really. I don't think. So here we go. Next step. Okay, so now we're back in OpenSim, and the next thing we need to do is uh, copy our avatar from our the clothing uh, file and and move it to our inventory. So that's what I'm doing now. Um, depending on the browser you're using, it's going to work differently. In this one, you got to go into the worn uh, clothing and find the name of the file, uh, and then basically create a new window and then drag it into your inventory and then you find it in your inventory. What we're trying to do here is uh, put our avatar file uh, in the easiest spot possible to copy it, which is direct in the main uh, file system called my inventory. So I'll call it Slim's body, and then we'll go back into our OpenSim DOS panel and type in the command. Okay, now on to the next part. We have our syntax, and we know that the name of the folder inside our inventory is Slim's body, so we'll just put that on the notepad with our syntax. 
so it's kind of simple just remember to log out uh, before you do this it doesn't seem to work if you're logged in so I type say IAR and my username of my avatar slim jammies and the name of the folder which is inside the open sim inventory folder which is slim's body and then my password which I'm gonna need to change now uh, after this <laughs> and then you type the path on your hard drive C in my case backslash and I'm gonna call it the same thing slim's body uh, so C slim's body dot IAR and you hit return and then you're good Okay, so now it's saved. Now we're just gonna go check. It's gonna be on our C drive. So let's just go along in there. And then uh, here we are. There it is. Slimsbody.iar. And it's 197 kilobytes. So what I can do then is uh, move that over to. Um, another hard drive um, and I can save it to also to uh, you know someplace like Dropbox or whatever um, along with hopefully you've backed up the regions in OAR file so that if anything ever happens to your sim be it something's wrong with your computer or more likely <laughs> believe it or not you get hacked uh, you can just reinstall everything from scratch because usually especially if it's like a small pc sim it's a whole lot easier and faster to just wipe it and start again and you know spend half an hour installing uh things using oar files because it's only four or five regions on your pc and you can save your entire inventory that way uh, using the same method i just showed you if you so choose but that's an awful lot of space um, but if you want to save all your inventory that way, it's like a second database. So you just save it and put it somewhere for safekeeping, just in case. Well, that's the end of another tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And I'll be back another time, maybe with something on Mesh. Bye for now.